So we come to the second move of the eight move hypno yoga pilates quigong sequence. Um, again, bit of a mouthful. We're just using these motions um, taken from the eight brocades. Um, again, the eight brocades means sort of soft, silky movement. So again, we're not wasting their motions. We're putting them with the pilates and yoga set up. Just doing the breathing slightly different, um, not getting too caught up in the traditional sense of it. Not there's anything wrong with that. I do that myself. But again, we're just getting these motions and linking them, calibrating and synchronizing, synchronizing them even to motion um, in a sort of vinyasa, breath synchronized motion um, in Sanskrit. That means again, not to getting too caught up in any of that. I don't really need to know any of that necessarily. So <clears throat> I digress. We're going to go straight in with the breathing. So the breathing is the Pilates set up, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out the abdominals. They go both together anyway, them two. You can't do one without the other. You could gather in, tuck in the belly button here, and that'll engage pelvic floor, and vice versa. Um, but again, we're going to go through it segmentally. So we zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine. That will naturally help you breathe up here into these lower lobes of lungs. Okay, that will happen anyway. That will help you breathe anywhere but the belly button. So as you do that now, you'll feel that. Zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. And that helps you breathe as you do this now into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So as you do that now, breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Unlike the usual Pilates breath, we're making this a little bit more yogic. We're closing the mouth and going in and out through the nose. So it's a smaller filter through the nose and that will filter the breath, make that more cleansing breath, like yogic breath. But again, that will elongate the breath, especially that out breath, okay? But that will naturally lengthen the breath. Okay, so as you do that now, you'll feel that, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, and that will bring in that 3D breath, that Pilates breath. And as you do that now, you're breathing through the nose and out through the nose. And you feel the out breath or the exhale will naturally want to fall longer than the in breath. So as you do that now, you'll feel that happening. So allow that to happen. Really elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. And you'll feel that elongate longer than the in-breath. The in-breath conscious thought as you do that. The out-breath is subconscious thought, which will benefit the parasympathetic nervous system. As you do this, you'll feel them parasympathetic nervous system responses, then benefits as you elongate the out-breath longer than the in-breath. You can quadruple it, double it, triple it. Whatever you like, the out-breath, as you do that now, Find your count. Again, it's a bit like 7-11 breathing. Um, it could be 5-9 or 5-8. Again, everyone's count would be different, but again, that's just a sort of name for this hypnotic breath. Making the out breath longer than the in breath, basically. Again, you'd have to count that. You can quadruple it, double it, triple it, that out breath. So as you do that now, I'll demonstrate. Gather in, zip up still. Now that breath to elongate, as you can hear there, but do it naturally, don't force anything. Now again, if you that is fine, what we wanna do. Okay, you've got the hypnotic responses in there, the yogic responses, and the Pilates set up, so that mixture is working there. Throwing that corset on, zipping up the pelvic floor, support the spine as you do that now. But if you wanna take that on a little bit further and make that slightly sort of more advanced-ish breath, then you can take it to Ujjayi breath. So Ujjayi breath, you're gripping your esophagus, the back of the throat. And any way to do that is I'll demonstrate so you can hear it and you'll get it. And that is Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Soft, whistling, silky breath. So as you do this, you grip at your esophagus. And as you can hear, That would make a sort of Darth Vader breath. The only way to explain that, a soft, sweet, 
whistling silky breath from the back of the throat. Okay, that will elongate the breath even longer and especially the out breath also as usual. <clears throat> but that will help to stimulate the thyroid gland which helps with weight control, etc. And will also help us build the heat within the body. As you do that now, you'll feel and hear that soft, whistling, silky, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Gives the mind something to focus on. Brings the mind into the here and now as you focus on that. And it helps us lengthen that breath. Okay, lovely. If you can't get that, don't worry. Just stick to the breathing out through the nose, zipping up and hollowing, scooping out your abdominals. So we throw that corset on to support the spine and elongate the out breath, longer than the in breath. Okay, in a natural way. So lovely. So as you're doing that now, we're going to link that to motion in vinyasa. I'm going to stay close here. Again, feet you can bring in as with all Qigong postures, you can go deep or low, as with any posture really. Um, if you are gonna go low, don't go any lower personally, then knees in line with toes. Again, there's a lot of corresponding stuff for that, but I always stick to the safer old school stuff. Knees in line with toes, no deeper, or even less. If you get the knees in line with toes, go down deeper with a tailbone, but only as low as you can still keep the knees in line with toes. Or you can just stand up in a natural sort of Shizen posture, natural posture here or you can go deep, it's up to you there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that, I'll digress. So again, from here, I'm gonna just come out a little bit this way, a little bit of space there. And again, all I'm gonna do is start with the hands here. We're just gonna bring the hands up here, we're gonna bring them in and come up here. Again, gonna link the breath to motion. I'll come back so I've got a little bit of space. I might move this over a little bit. Yeah, that's better. So from here, we've got the hands to here, they're gonna come out on the exhale, they're gonna push up. You're gonna breathe in, come back, so align. Watch this, okay, because 90% of us or 80% of us are overactive in these upper traps. Keep your shoulders down and exhale. It's a, that's gonna be a sharper breath on the in-breath, then you're gonna exhale. Then you're gonna breathe in. Shoulders down. Hands back towards you. Again, it's called, by the way, this is called lifting the hands to raise the condition of the stomach of the spleen. You're gonna breathe in and exhale. As you gather in, zip up and hollow, take the navel towards the spine. Struggling for a space here, you're gonna come this way. It's a uh, We'll do it sideways on, can you see it? Exhale, so it's a. You can even do a couple of these if you like, pressing. Again, you get these forearm flexors stretched. Again, a lot of the meridians come from the hands, but not going into that deep into the meridians. We're gonna get we're gonna exhale for as long as you like. You can even leave it up there and just enjoy that stretch. Keep your shoulders down. So there's a trickle of water just running down the back and dispersing, down the shoulders over hips. If you want to lean and just take a toe off the ground and reach, you can do. And breathing, come back. And exhale. Bring in these obliques, these external obliques in here. As we reach over, it's a Coming back to centre and exhale, reach. You'll stretch the whole lateral line of the body. You can put a little bend in there, but again, if you want to put the hand here, you can do for support. You know, if you've got any back problems, be careful. Don't sort of just jam in. Nice, soft, silken movement, like the eight brocade says. Exhale, do you just hand on here, you can do, or you're gonna exhale. Again, I'm gonna come back here, so you can see the feet. You can partially empty the feet. Really gather in, navel towards the spine. That's gonna support the spine with that corset muscle. Okay, and exhale. Elongate the out breath. And exhale. You can either stack the hips here, or have a little turn there, but I'll, I'll keep yourself stacked. 
don't force anything that's the main thing again link the breath to the motion and just enjoy that stretch there these obliques when we release these they help our walking gait okay so again if one's tight it'll pull you one way or the other so you'll be hitching your shoulders up here the body's a unit it always goes somewhere but again elongate the out breath and again that'll help you get you into these postures and enjoy that release stretch there okay like a yawn in the morning nothing forced just a nice yawning type stretch elongate the exhale on that motion lovely that was number two of the hypno yoga pilates quigong sequence got number three take an arrow to shoot the golden eagle next number three but that was number two lovely bang